can welcome to Eric Court Center with yet another episode and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to test crank sensor without multimeter with just a simple trick. So if you really want this content please consider to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button to stay updated for more useful content and after this video I'm going to upload another video that you can also use multimeter to set same characters are to get the result whether it's good or bad so these are some of the videos we are going to upload and show you on this content so stay tuned and without waiting our time today's video is sponsored by Ravolin Ravolin is number one engine oil dealer that keeps your quality of the engine and guarantee the life of engine for you so buy this oil and all the details we put in the video description so don't forget to scroll down and get every detail if you want to contact them you can get them in this description after this video so let's start the video i have my crank sensor here which is two because i'm going to show you both to which one is work and which one is not work so this is both of them are crank sensor which are the same and i'm going to test this one for you first to see how it works or not so we are going to use this knot to test it and you are going to feel it on your tongue so whenever it's working you will see feel it on your tongue whether it is hitting your tongue or not when it's not working you cannot feel anything so these are the difference so this is what i'm going to do you hold it like this and you hit the bottom with this knot you have to hit the bottom uh, it, it will hit on your tank, not that serious, but a little shock like magnet, that means the crank sensor is working. So, as I did it, I feel nothing, that means it's no more working. And let me check this one, whether it is good or not. With the same procedure, I can feel it. Okay. So, you have to use your tank to feel this socket inside. To do things that will enable you to know whether it's good or not. So, now like this. So, this one is shocking at times. This means it's really working. And you can also use normal wood. There is no need for you to use not if you want to use both, but make sure you do it as I did it and when you hit it like this, hit it, you have to hit it so that you feel it. Yes. Unless you hit it hard, if you hit it small, you can't feel it, so hit it hard like a stone so that it will be able to see the signal on your tongue. So this is how we test crank sensor without using a, what do you call it, multimeter. And this is also a crank, crank sensor. Normally it's a crank sensor, but all the same. So like this, you can also test it by hitting it. So as you hit it, you will feel it on your tongue to see. So these two are working 100% and I work on some Twitter at first. So we normally used to get a difficult start and when we figure out that we might know that this is not working. So this is what we found it and I tested like how I did it without using a multimeter. So hit the subscribe button, share the video like the like button and i mean let the video go viral it is very useful information and many mechanics and other technical people so even if you are not a technical person or mechanic you can even test it without i mean using a multimeter by simply using this kind of knot and in another video on this description we are going to bring you i mean another video of this which is multimeter you use multimeter to test it and I'll show you how it will also go about it. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more useful information on Eric Center. Thank you and I'll meet you guys.